Hello, and welcome to the setup of the Infinity Luminary Synergy Massage Chair. In this video, we're going to walk you through the step-by-step -step assembly of setting up your new premium massage chair. When your chair arrives, it's going to be in three separate boxes. The larger of the three boxes contains the main body of the chair. The long medium sized box contains two arm panels and the smallest box holds the footrest. The only tools required for this assembly is a Phillips head screwdriver which comes included within the accessory box. Let's start with the larger box. Cut open the top of the box and remove the accessory box from the foam protective packaging. Then lift the top of the box straight up and set aside. In the accessory box, we have the remote tablet, the tablet holder, one power cord, spare clips and fuses, a Phillips head screwdriver, four medium sized bolts with washers, the user manual, a quick start guide, the assembly guide, and lastly the warranty card. Don't forget to register your warranty. Now let's remove any foam protective packaging surrounding the chair. Once you have uncovered the main body of the chair, this next step will require some assistance. With a partner, team lift the chair up and out of the tray and place the chair in an open, clean area to resume the rest of the assembly. With the body out of the box, let's unbox the two side arm panels. When unboxing the two side arm panels, we recommend keeping them off rough surfaces to prevent any damage to the outside shell. Let's start with the left arm panel. On the inside of the panel, we can see several important pieces of the assembly. There is the back hook, the electrical connections and air hose, the arm panel clip which will rest on the chair's body rail, and one screw hole to firmly connect the arm to the body of the chair. Bring the left arm panel close to the side of the frame and connect the electrical cords and the air hose to their corresponding ports. With everything connected, carefully lift the arm and guide the back hook into its resting place toward the back of the frame. Then place the arm panel clip on the body rail and gently slide it into place. Make sure when you are sliding the arm into place that you do not pinch any of the air hoses in this process. Next, locate the two holes in the footwell section of the chair. Using the provided Phillips head screwdriver, insert and fasten the bolt and washer through the top hole and secure the arm panel to the body of the chair. Repeat this process to the other side of the chair. Once both arm panels are attached, let's move on and install the tablet remote. Locate the tablet remote holder and place it into the mount within the right arm panel. Ensure that the tablet holder post lines up with the mount and screw down the chrome fastener to secure it into place. Then place the tablet remote into the tablet holder. Once the tablet is in place, connect the tablet remote cord to the remote port on the inside of the chair located near the right side of the seat cushion. Make sure the electrical pins line up and screw down the fastener to properly secure the connection. Now that the remote is plugged in, use the power cord from the accessory bag and plug the chair in. Flip the main power switch on. Once on, the tablet should immediately turn on and display the Infinity logo followed by a yellow warning screen. Tap the red confirm button when you have read through the warning screen to proceed to the home page. Once the home screen has loaded, hit the power button to the top right of the corner to bring the chair to an upright position. Once the chair is fully upright, turn off the chair by flipping the main power switch to the off position. Now it's time to unbox the last box, which is the footrest. The footrest can be very heavy, so remember to lift with your legs and not your back. Bring the footrest close to the foot of the chair and connect the electrical plug and the air hose to the appropriate connection ports. Plug the 8-pin electrical plug into the 8-pin port and the air hose to the air nozzle. Before sliding the footrest into place, there are clips on the footrest pins that you will have to remove. The trick we found to remove these easily is by using the included screwdriver and gently lift the piece of the clip that is keeping it in place, then gently slide it off the axle. Now let's finish the installation of the footrest. Lift the footrest and slide the footrest hinge over the pin on the body of the chair. Slide the first one down the axle pin all the way. This should give you enough space to maneuver the footrest up onto the other axle pin. Then replace the clips to secure it into place. If you misplace and lose any of the clips, there are some spares in the hardware bag of the accessory box. 
Then zipper the closer between the footrest and the chair's body. With the footrest attached, the chair is now fully assembled and ready to use. Toggle the main power switch back on and turn on the chair using the remote. Then run an auto program to ensure that everything is working properly. If everything is working properly, feel free to take a seat and relax. Enjoy your new Infinity Luminary Synergy Massage Chair.